So, 2012 was amazing for most car manufacturers. Jaguar, BMW and Mercedes all reported amazing car sales. Now, overall, 2012 was rather stagnant in terms of the chauffeur car vehicle market because there were no key model launches except for the all-new facelifted BMW 7 Series, which we've only just got our hands on. But this year should be the most competitive we've ever seen because we've got the new generation E-Class coming out soon and the S-Class later on in the year. And don't forget about the all-new Range Rover, which oh, will be very interesting. Absolutely. Anyway, back to the awards. For the £50,000 and under category, we've looked at the outgoing Mercedes E-Class, A6 and Jaguar XF. There's one vehicle which I called BMW's best kept secret, and that is the BMW 530 GT. The GT? Now hang on, why do you call this BMW's best kept secret? Well, why don't you find out for yourself? Some people call this GT a Marmite car, but I happen to love Marmite. If you put it against its competitors like the Audi A6, the Jaguar XF, the E-Class, it offers far more luxury inside the cabin, which is where it really matters. It actually offers a very similar driving experience to the BMW 7 Series, as it's the same width, it's the same weight, it's almost as long, and it's just slightly taller. You know, I totally agree with you when you say it's like the 7 Series, although you get a much higher ride in this. Yeah, the seats in the rear are much higher than they are normally, so you get a really good view ahead. But I think you, you need to be more cocooned in this car. Like other cars, you sit well back from the seat pillar. In this, you don't, so I think you would need privacy glass if you were to buy this car. Yeah, now I'd much prefer to be in the back of this than an XF. And you know what? A chauffeur can own a 520 GT for less than 500 pounds a month. Now that's a bargain. Except that we still haven't considered the E-Class. I mean, that's a very popular car in its category. Well, the E-Class is good and it's a great workhorse, but I feel it just doesn't offer the luxury that this 5 GT offers. This is much better. Well, that's conclusive then. The BMW 5 GT wins the Chauffeur Car of the Year Award in the £50,000 and under category. <laughs>So now, the most competitive category of the awards, the 50 to 75,000 pounds. And we're back to the German long wall base shootout between the Audi A8L and the BMW 7 Series. What do you think? You know, we always end up comparing these two models, which is pretty hard, you have to say. I mean, personally, I love the BM. And this is the facelifted front end, which is rather gorgeous. And it has loads of new technology inside. And BMW has just announced the new active hybrid long wheelbase and an all-wheel drive version which could make it to the UK in the future. Ah, but look at this Audi A8. It's sleek, it's mm. sexy, it's an overall good package and the chauffeur programme is brilliant and it's got a lot of good benefits. But hey, let's go and find out. I like this bit. This A8 is fitted with rear comfort reclining seats which are an optional extra for £2,000 and Wi-Fi. But the side and rear blinds and the acres of room, they all come standard on this model. So how's the ride in the back, Tash? You feel very secure back here. You're set well back from the seat pillow. Uh, car feels very settled. There's a little bit of road noise, but on the whole, it's a very nice place to be. And this engine is fantastic. It's 250 brake horsepower and you get 40 miles to the gallon. You know what clinched the title for this car in 2011? is the fact it's all-wheel drive and that for a chauffeur is so important and it's got more workable boot space than the 7 Series. What about the Mercedes S-Class though? I mean that's got to be worth a mention. Well of course, yes, yeah, the S-Class is, is the most popular luxury car. However, Mercedes-Benz have only just made the chauffeur programme affordable and attractive and the S-Class is going to be replaced this year. So the last thing you want is an outdated car, you want the new one. And we don't know if the chauffeur programme is going to be affordable with a new car. We can only find out later on this year. How good do you feel now going up outside the pub in this little beauty? Oh, you mean besides slightly damp? Well, I'd feel even better if you'd open the door for me.
This is cosy. Yes. Mine's a glass of champagne. No time for that, I'm afraid. Your turn to drive. So, because of the amazing chauffeur program on offer, all-wheel drive, ample boot space and comfort, the award goes to the LDH long wheelbase for the 50 to 75,000 pound category. Thank you. Why is my seat wet?